Valence House is the only surviving of the five manor houses of Dagnam. The timber frame building which is partially surrounded by a moat is situated in Valence Park off B Country Avenue. The building over the years has been used as a manor house, a family home, a town hall and the headquarters of the library service and now houses a museum. A house was first established on the site in the 13th century, owned by Robert Dines in 1280. Later, tenants of the estate are commemorated in the road named surrounding the park. The name of the house derives from the 14th century tenants Agnes de Valence and her brother Almer L. of Pembroke, who came from a wealthy family in the French province of Valence. The family moved in here when the, their uncle became king. The estate passed into the ownership of the Dean and Chapter of Windsor in 1475 and remained in their ownership until 1867 when it passed to the Church of Commissioners. In the latter part of the 16th century, the owner and tenant of Valence House was Timothy Lucy who married in 1584. Susanna, daughter of Henry Fanshaw of Jenkins and adjoining manor. He was a brother of Sir Thomas Lucy of Charlecott, Warwickshire. In 1921, the London County Council purchased the building and land to develop the Beacon Tree Estate. The house was used as the LCC headquarters during the construction. During 1928 and 1929, the building was extended for use as offices and council chamber. Valence House served as a town hall until 1937, when the Dagnam Civic Centre was completed. So, as you can imagine, this 600-year-old house has seen some comings and goings in its time. It is rumoured the murder of Lady Valence is one of the key points of reports from people who enter the house. Agnes de Valence lived at Valence House until her death in 1309. Agnes was said to have been murdered with a dagger that was supposedly retrieved from the moat, and she was supposedly still haunts the house and grounds to this day. The other known spirit is that of Eliza Luxmore, whom died in 1913. Eliza is the mother-in-law of Thomas May, who was the last private resident of the house. A ghost is sighted regularly. She is a small elderly lady dressed in black who appears as a real person and makes herself known to unexpected visitors.